Uh, we'll come from Christopher Carter. Go ahead. Uh, good morning, Jeff. Morning. Uh, Jeff, wanted to ask you about Bub and how, how he's played. He had a rough shooting day, but he seems to be able to focus through tough shooting performances, had eight rebounds, that one big rebound that he saved, it got it led to Jalen's three, also had four assists and zero turnovers. How do you see him deal with adversity when his shot isn't going? Well, I think he's learning, uh, which is sometimes a difficult thing for young players that he can have an effect on the game besides just scoring. Obviously, we need him to score, and we want him to score. Uh, but he can have an impact all over the game. Um, you mentioned the eight rebounds, the four assists with no turnovers, uh, and still learning how to impact the game defensively as well. Um, but we do need his scoring, and we need him to be able to uh, make make some of the shots that he's taken. Yeah, unmute. Uh, next question is from Kip Coons. Go ahead, Kip. Yes, uh, good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Uh, you have kind of a, a singular pedigree in the ACC. You played, you were an assistant coach, now a head coach in the league. So you have the benefit of, of longevity around the league. What, what would you like to see next year in terms of the schedule and the, um, and the tournament? Uh, for example, Leonard Hamilton said, He's very much in favor of everybody being in the tournament. And uh, Steve Forbes said he'd like to see us go back to 18 league games so we can increase non-conference. I'm wondering what your thoughts are you know, regarding those issues. Well, to answer the first one, I do. I would want everyone in the ACC tournament. I, I don't like if anyone's excluded from it. It's an opportunity for every team to have a chance at the postseason and that's really what March Madness is about. You know, you could get hot. It could be an unbelievable story. Um, and if you don't allow teams to go there, then you strip, you know, a program or programs of that opportunity and kids of that opportunity. Um, as far as an 18-game schedule, you know, I would go with whatever is best for the ACC and whatever is going to give us the opportunity to get the most teams in the NCAA tournament. It's frustrating uh, when you listen to the narrative nationally about our conference. Um, and, you know, again, I, historically, I know this league and I'm in it now. Like, you know how good this league is. You know how good the teams are. But yet on a national level, for whatever reason, you're you're not getting that recognition. Um so if 18 games gives us an opportunity to get maybe a couple of more national games, or if that's a way to help us get more teams into the NCAA tournament, because we've shown over and over again, when we get there, we perform as well as any conference in America. Um, and so whatever will give us the best opportunity, I'm all for that. We'll go to Christopher Carter. Uh, Jeff, wanted to ask about how you guys have, have been working with Feder Federico with with his development. Uh, you know, he's we, we've seen him, you know, kind of get benched for long stretches in games. We've also seen him respond, I think, in the last couple of games with a little bit of better play. Where is he at as a player in your mind? And what does he have to keep working on to improve? Yeah, well, we need him. He's a big part of what we do. Um, we inserted him back in the starting lineup at Duke. Uh, just trying to give us a jolt and perhaps give him a jolt. I think it worked. Um, you know, we feel like we have a two head, you know, mo not monster at that position, but two guys with Federico and with Guillermo. And we need both of them to play well. They're different players against Georgia Tech. I don't think Federico did anything bad when he was subbed for a long period of time. I just thought Guillermo was playing well and gave us something that was a little bit different. Uh, down the stretch, defensively, we went back to Federico for that, but Guillermo was able to stretch the floor for us. Uh, against Miami, Federico played a lot of the minutes. Uh, we thought his ability to defend one-on-one -on -one defense um, against Omir was better. And so it's always going to be that. I don't look at it as a benching. We sub guys in and out. You know, we get them in there. You know, it depends on how you're playing. Um, and it depends on what that specific game needs. But we need him to be really good. And I think he's been better 
over this past three game stretch for us and has done some really good things for us. Uh, go next to Cam Lemons to bro. Go ahead, Cam. Hey, Jeff, you know, looking ahead to Wednesday, you know, what have you gathered from Wake Forest um, in, from the film room? Yeah, I think they're a really good team. They're very explosive offensively. Obviously, they can shoot the basketball from range. They can score it in the mid-range. They have several guys that can play off the bounce. Uh, you know, they they have mismatched guys with Carr. Um, with getting Monsanto back and his ability to really stretch the floor with his deep range, um, I think they're as good of an offensive team as we have in our league and probably one of the better offenses in the country. Um, I think Coach Forbes and his staff do a really, really good job, a great job with those guys. Uh, and so it'll be a challenge for our defense uh, to really step up and to try to slow them down. It really hasn't happened much in our league, um, but hopefully we're up for that challenge. Uh, Jerry DePala, go ahead. Uh, Jeff, uh, Jalen might have had some uh, other options in that last play at, at Miami. What do you think he learned from reviewing the tape of that last play, uh, you know, from what what he might have been able to do, other than what he did? Yeah, well, you know, we wanted to put the ball in his hands, um, and there were several options on the play. Uh, Miami switched, which we anticipated them possibly doing, and so we had him on a big guy. Um and we like that, you know, Jalen has shown in the past few games, his ability to make shots, uh, to get fouled, obviously to make free throws, but to make plays. Um, looking back at it, uh, you know, I thought there was a lot of contact on the play. Um, and so we did a pretty good job of that, drawing the contact. But I thought he also had an opportunity to drive. Um, and so we'll discuss it with them today. Uh, obviously he was heartbroken after the game, um, as were we, but we have to do a better job of not getting down 19 points and then coming, you know, having, a, we made a heck of a comeback uh, and put ourselves in a position where we had an opportunity to tie the game, to send in the center in overtime or to perhaps win it. Uh, but we can't dig holes like that. He was a big reason why we were able to get back into the game. Um, but we were the reason as a group collectively, myself included, why I, we didn't win the game. Uh, last question will come from Matt Kramer. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Coach. Uh, speaking with Jalen, he replaced Ish in the starting lineup during the season with uh, Ish coming off the bench now. I think he's played pretty well in that role. Uh, he's been in double figures the past three games. Just curious what you can say about his maturity playing in that different role compared to, you know, the start of the season. Yeah, well, you know, it's interesting. I think, and maybe kids do too, you know, uh, make a lot out of starting. You know, for me, I always look at it who finishes and who plays the minutes. Um, you know, I think Ish has been really good since coming back from his injury, especially the last three games. And what it has done is that it's given us pop off the bench. It's given us someone that can score the basketball, uh, that can create for himself and for others. Um, someone that's a, you know, can be a really good defender, uh, and can rebound the basketball. Now, that's not going to say that that's going to continue to be. He, he may start, uh, but I would hope that Ish or any player that we have is more concerned about us winning than about starting. Um, I think he's played starter minutes, especially over the last three games as he's worked himself back into playing shape, um, and he's played better. And uh, that's what we need him to do. We need all of our guys to be singularly focused on – what they can do to help us win and not about starting or minutes. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Jeff, thank you. Appreciate the time. Okay. See you guys. Take care.